Hey, welcome, Pastor Jeff. Another time where we can repent together, and today, this is day number 15, we're going to look at the issue of liars, a lying spirit. This comes from Revelation chapter 21, verse 7 and 8. He, this is the risen Christ speaking to you to me and me today, he who overcomes shall inherit all things, and I will be his God, and he shall be my son. But the cowardly, unbelieving, abominable, murderers, sexually immoral, sorcerers, idolaters, and all liars, that's what we're looking at today, shall have their part in the lake, which burns with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. My friend, you and I don't want to be in that group. You and I want to remove lying. And the spirit to remove it with, I'm going to just say we speak words of truth. For example, here's John, 1 John 4, verses 4 to 6. You are of God, little children. And have overcome them because he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. They are of the world. Therefore, they speak as of the world and the world hears them. We are of God. He who knows God hears us. He who is not of God doesn't hear us. By this we know the spirit of truth. Yes, the spirit of truth replaces the lying spirit. By this we know the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. And then later in the third letter from John, in 3 John verse 3, he says, For I rejoiced greatly when brethren came and testified of the truth that's in you just as you walk in the truth. You and I are to walk in the truth. We are not to walk in any kind of a lie. Hey, I'll tell you, the Lord quickened me to this months ago. He said, I was praying to him. He said, you do have a spirit of a lying spirit in that you occasionally exaggerate. Exaggerate, yes. Even an exaggeration of the truth is in itself a lie. Man, that hit me like a ton of bricks. That might be your issue too. When you spend alone time with the Lord, he will he will tell you where the lying spirit first surfaced in your life, if you ask him. You can ask him how that lying spirit, even now, pollutes your thinking and compromises the way you deal with people. Maybe you're too nicey-nicey, you're just too overly politically correct, and, and the truth is you're really lying to people. The truth is you're really not telling the truth. We have to tell the truth in love. And that will set people free, sometimes with a, a stronghold themselves that they didn't see. But you and I, in love, can even correct a person. And you can read about that in 2 Timothy chapter 2, starting in verse 25. Humbly correcting a person may give them the opportunity to repent and to remove that lie that came from Satan himself. So you and I have to remove the lying spirit. The Lord loves you. If you confess that lying spirit, he will forgive you. And then you have the choice truly to repent and say, I am so done with lying. I don't need to lie. I can be quiet or I can tell the truth. That will be a witness to others. And it really witnessing to others is the key extra part of repentance. When you come into the kingdom, the next thing is to bear fruit worthy of repentance so that people know that they know you've repented. They see the new character in you. They see this godly character. They see you're not a person that's just, you know, talking this way, that way, exaggerating, little white lies, whatever. No, you're a person of truth. You're speaking truth. And that will show them that you've repented. That will be a way to bring them into the kingdom. They'll say, wow, this is really true. This works. I want to be more like that. Yes, we are called to be holy as he's holy. When you're in the kingdom, the Lord already sees you as a member of the royal priesthood. We have to cleanse to be ready as his bride. He's the soon coming bridegroom. So let me know how you're doing. I would love to pray with you. Email me, Pastor Jeff at repentday.com.
and we will go through all 40 of these devotionals, repentance devotionals, issues, sin issues that you don't need anymore. Thank God for the blood of Christ and thank God for the gift of repentance. Use it. Cleanse. And onward, Christian soldiers. God bless you.